Hello everybody, it's Panable Pat one here, and as we both know, two iPhones were released by Apple. Let's talk about that. You know, I'm just gonna try and breathe some life into this, you know, maybe tell you some things you didn't know, maybe tell you some things that you did know, whatever. Okay, so there's two iPhones, and there's gonna be two screen sizes to go with those two iPhones. One is going to be 4.7 inches, one is going to be 5.5 inches. And what I'm thinking is, why'd you drop the 4 inch form factor? There's going to be two resolutions. The smaller 4.7 inch iPhone is going to have a 720p display with a resolution of 1334 by 750. That is going to give you 326 ppi. If you're going the big phablet mode 5.5, you're going to get a 1080p screen with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 and that's going to give you 401 ppi. This screen is also going to have a new retina display they're calling Retina HD. It's going to offer crisper text and more vibrant colors. Personally, 720p saves battery life, so I don't see any problem with it, right? There's going to be a new processor inside. Oh, big surprise, powering everything. You are going to get a A8 processor, which is going to provide you with 20 more percent CPU power and 50 more percent GPU power. So, hey, get to slicing and dicing on the i don't know rain and dust and trees and stuff bam bam sugar and ham you know and don't forget the m8 processor which is going to bundle along with the new health app in ios 8 which is going to be able to you know count your steps and it's also going to be able to count your steps upstairs with the new barometer it's going to be able to reward you for going up a grade a mountain some stairs a hill whatever it's going to be able to reward you that with that in the new health app in ios 8. one of the problems when you go into the bigger screen realm is you can't reach you could reach the bottom but you can't reach the top really well you can't you know with one hand you can't really reach all the corners and apple has, you know, come up with a solution for this. It's called reachability. All you do is double touch the home button. It brings all the contents of the screen down to you so you don't have to go reaching for it. It's also going to have NFC, if you don't know, you know, big thing with mobile payments, touching your two phones together and transferring pictures. Well, they came out with this thing that is going to allow you to pay at stores just using your phone called Apple Pay. Tap your phone to the payment center and bam, there you go. You just paid with either your card on file or a card that you're adding to their card system and it's all encrypted, kept in this little spot right where your fingerprint is. And you know, they're just hanging out. Your card information and your fingerprint are just, you know, hanging out, doing secret handshakes and stuff in the secret department of the security area. Ooh. So it's gonna have Bluetooth 4.0 and Wi-Fi 802.11ac, the newest, fastest way to get your Wi-Fi around. They're still sticking with that eight megapixel camera. I think it's been, I don't know how long now, but hey, it's not about quantity, it's about quality. And I think that's what Apple thinks, you know. It's not about how much, you know, hamburgers I can make. It's, it's like that SpongeBob episode when the Flying Dutchman versus SpongeBob and he's making all those hamburgers really fast and then SpongeBob only makes like one hamburger and then the audience is like, whoa, this hamburger tastes like shit. And then they come over to SpongeBob's hamburger and he's like, whoa, this hamburger is delicious. You know, that's the same thing with Apple's camera. It's not about the quantity of megapixels like Nokia and their 30 some megapixels. It's not about quantity, it's about quality. And they have raised up the bar again. It's going to have a faster autofocus, digital image stabilization for the iPhone 6 and optical image stabilization for the iPhone 6 plus that is going to give you the ability to move your lens up down left and right and do a cha-cha yeah 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 all night it's also going to be able to record 1080p video in either 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second and if you're one of those people that like them and you like to record at 120 frames per second well now they just doubled that you're now going to be able to record in 240 frames per second for even slower you know, when you get a bigger screen, you're gonna need a bigger battery. And Apple definitely did not slack in the battery category with battery improvements across the board with the biggest battery improvements happening on the 6 Plus. It's taking on the characteristics of an iPod, you know, rounder edges, basically, you know, sexy. Rounder edges and it's even thinner. 
with the iPhone 6 at only 6.9 millimeters and the iPhone 6 Plus at 7.1. All in all, I think this is exactly what Apple needed. I think they needed more variety, more phone sizes. You know, they might get some Android people that want to try iOS out. Maybe take some of the Samsung Thunder. Now we've got the 4.7 and the 5.5. 4.7 basically the perfect smartphone size for the normal person but hey if you like a bigger phone you like the phablet you know you like to have a big tablet in your phone pocket you know like to have the big impression you know impress people hey i got a big phone in my pocket i know lots of girls lots of ladies they like to have the big phone for whatever reason and hey you know now that they can do that with ios maybe they might come on over you know have their big apple watch on their wrist you know hey Samsung is not the only thing. We're taking back the reins, you know. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comment section down below is where you should put them. Uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe for the latest in tech, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.